So here's an example of a um, camera that we're using uh, in a robotics application um, that's powered by some kind of battery. Um, so powered by a low voltage DC battery. Um, so this is a, it's a surveillance camera that we bought. And it's kind of one of the expensive ones. This is a $400 um, to $500 camera. Um, but it's, it's really beefy. Um, it's pan tilt zoom, so you can control that. Um, and also it has a fairly decent like image quality. Uh, and actually like the lens inside of it is really good. It has a 1.8 lens um, aperture, so it, it'll um, work well in low light conditions. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I integrated it. Uh, so this camera uses power over ethernet, which is somewhat of a pain to integrate with DC powered systems. So these things are really easy to integrate um, when it comes to using just regular um, AC, like 120 volt AC power, uh, but for uh, 12 volt DC, you have to do a little hunting. And I, I spent some time like researching what, what to do, so hopefully this video will help you if you're doing the same thing. So I have a 12 volt battery pack that's um, lithium iron phosphate, and it's this big thing over here. And um, the way these things work is they're, ether, they're power over ethernet. So the ethernet cable goes to this thing called a power injector. And it's this guy over here. And then the power injector has, um, has a, another ethernet input on the back of it, which is the regular ethernet that goes to your switch or your computer or whatever. So your switch has the regular data, data ethernet. This blue cable goes to the back of this box. And this is the power injector. And then this box now gives you uh, an ethernet out that has 48 volts um, on it alongside with the data. Um, so you have to get the right power injector for the, um, for the camera. And there's, the, 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 there's a whole bunch of different ones and it's kind of annoying to like figure out which one. But um, I'll put it up on the blog so you can see exactly which one um, I got that works for this. Uh, and this has a 24 volt power injector. Uh, sorry, 48 volt. So this, the, and they all operate under different voltages. So this, these specific cameras operate under 48 volts, and this is a 35 watt power injector that works perfect for the situation. And um, you get a nice pan tilt camera. Oh, where is it? That also zooms, which is kind of nice. Um, so you can do a lot with this stuff. Uh, you, you, know, you can link this with vision tracking systems and have, um, have it follow objects if you want, or you can just have it as remote. Um, and everything's running on the network, so it's easy to use. Uh, thanks for watching.